Hi everyone, welcome to another video of the Let's Try It series. So for today, I will be um, introducing this um, from Daiso. It's called the Iron-On uh, Transfer Printer Paper. So uh, what is so special about this paper is that you print uh, your image uh, or your drawing on, on this uh, paper using your eject printer. And then you can use your iron to iron it on to a uh, light colored fabric, um, preferably 100% cotton fabric. So you can actually do it on uh, t-shirts, you can also do it on bags um, or pencil cases or pouches. So uh, it will make very good um, customization um, present for friends and your family. It comes in a pack of five and a plus one, which is actually the uh, finishing paper. Let's open this up. The size of this um, is so it's 15 times 10 cm. So when you print it, um, just look for a setting on your printer uh, to print at 10 times 15. So the transfer sheet has got two sides. So this side is uh, matte white and this side is a little bit more um, shiny. So this is the side that you want the printing to be done on. And part of this um, pack, um, pack, there is uh, this piece of paper called the finishing paper. You can't use this um, for, the, for printing. This is for you uh, to use uh, to um, help with the uh, transferring during when you do use the iron to transfer the image on. And there is quite an elaborate um, instruction sheet here. So um, I have gone through the um, instruction sheet, so I've highlighted a few places, a um, few spots that you need to take care of or take note of. First is that uh, the um, product should, can only transfer images uh, onto 100% cotton or hemp cloth. And it should be light or pale colored fabric and uh, not on a dark fabric because it's not entirely um, opaque. So um, if you do that on a dark fabric, you will not see um, your image. Uh, yeah. Second point is you have to use an inject printer. And uh, when you um, uh, print your, um, your, your um, image, make sure that it's reversed. So especially when there is a certain um, writing on it, just you need to make sure that it's reversed or when you, you transfer it over to, to the shirt, it would look, uh, the, you get a reverse image. And um, for the transferring, after you print it, uh, your image, uh, you need to transfer using an iron, hot iron. So you have to set it between 180 to 200 degrees Celsius. So especially for iron um, that has got a temperature setting, uh, this is important. And, and, and we also like give you very specific instructions on how to do the um, actual transferring. Um, like the, um, you know, using, uh, having it down for five seconds, repeat it five times, something, things like that. Um, and um, let's see, um, it says also that you should not um, apply images over seams or folds and not to um, transfer a second uh, transfer um, over the first one. Uh, and there's this thing about using, um, uh, do not use steam when you do the ironing and to use a firm ironing board. Um, yep, so now you understand what's in the package. Um, let's, let's go and start um, our project. So uh, it's going to be Lunar New Year soon um, and I have to do the uh, mandatory uh, spring cleaning uh, of my wardrobe. And I found that I have these uh, white these t-shirts. Um, they are 100% cotton t-shirts from UG and I really love them. It's just that they are very plain. I've been wearing them for a while. So I, was, I, I thought, hey, maybe I could use um, the transfer paper um, to spice up uh, the t-shirts. So uh, stay tuned to see how I do, uh, uh, how, how I do it.
note that the um, image is a mirror um, and now let's just uh, need to do the cutting so try to make sure that it's um, as close to the uh, drawing as possible and it's ready so when the iron is sufficiently um, heated up uh, I turn it up to max but I've tried this before I think it's okay with max and I will first um, look at a spot that I would like to have the sticker on the print on and then um, I would place the image side down where I want it to be okay, probably on top of the pocket and okay according to the instruction I'm supposed to put it down for five seconds every part for five seconds so I'm just gonna do that now 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 5 seconds so okay um, during this, if you look at the paper you realize that the top is a little, it's already um, it's a little bit burned but the color has changed so now we just wait um, for this um, to be um, uh, cool okay the moment of truth <sighs> it looks I realize that some parts of it is still um, um, it's actually not stuck to the, the shirt so what I'll do is um, it comes with this piece of paper and this is called the finishing paper so just put the finishing paper down on top of it take note to not um, touch the uh, other parts Look, yes. So this is the uh, completed t-shirt with the transfer paper um, customized um, sticker. Uh, so before I end the video, I I think it's good to let you know what thing you need, what what you need to take note of when you uh, send this for laundry. Um, first is that um, it may fade. Um, after washing for a few times. Uh, second, um, you try not to use any bleach because I think um, it might destroy um, the uh, sticker. And third is that um, you try not to put it in a hot, like a dryer. So after you wash it, hang it out to dry and uh, don't use a dryer because this is, um, it might melt, I think, or it might get destroyed at, at higher temperature. So let me know if you have tried it and if it works for you, all right? Um, before I end this video, I will wish all of you a happy Lunar New Year, 恭喜发财, and see you in the next video.